Yes, we did, Joanne, and it looked like it was really hurting. And that business owner that gave us a call, he came across the street and searched for it with us. We found it right back here behind me. I was in my office, and I was on the phone, and I looked up. A parking lot, I saw a parking lot, I saw the grass, and I saw this Canadian goose walking. And I looked at it, and I double take, triple take, and I saw an arrow in his neck, a full size arrow. And I looked around to see if anybody was shooting him, and then he walked across the front of the grass, and all the girls in the office were seeing it too. Couldn't believe it, it had blood coming down its neck. And when we pulled up, it was still there, sitting amongst the rubble and the equipment at night construction. Blood was covering its feathers, but no arrow. Yeah, it looks like the arrow's gone. It came back earlier to look for it, but we did find it, and it looks like it's going to probably make it now. And when we got too close, it mustered up the strength to waddle away slowly. And Tom called the Michigan Humane Society. It called the Department of Natural Resources. Both entities said they would come out here and take a look. Haven't seen them yet and haven't seen the goose since. It, when we so, showed you it waddle away, it went behind a trash can and it hasn't come back out. My photographer, Steve Zayak, did throw some bread down for it, but we haven't seen it since. Live in Troy, I'm Glenda Lewis. Back to you.